Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today I'm going to be doing top five duologies and series. I've read all of these and I enjoy all of them. I recommend all of them and let's dive in. I am very excited. So the first duology I want to talk about is Emma Newman's Planet Fall, which is a sci-fi duology and I am not big into sci-fi. This and The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet are my two favorite science fictions that I've read and if I could find more like that and anyone has recommendations for more like that, please leave them down in the comments. I am highly anticipating that kind of literary mixture of character driven, um, plot, slow, sci-fi style. Very much enjoy. I also enjoy John Wyndham. Anyway. This is a duology following a starship that has left planet Earth with a group of people who are following one woman in a cult-like environment to go and explore what they are trying to discover is almost like heaven. They are on their way to try and find God in the solar system and they find a planet and they end up settling down on this planet and beginning a life there anew and making a settlement and um, starting families and, and beginning everything. But everyone has a job and a purpose for being in on this settlement. This book follows Renita, who left Earth and is a specialist in 3D print printing engineer. And she is a woman who has also left her son. She has followed Lee Su Mi's vision and she is following it almost blindly, but it is causing her a lot of anxiety and doubt and self-fear and just stress overall. There is a secret amongst the community that she holds and it is causing her more and more stress. This touches on anxiety, hoarding, um, lots and lots of different aspects of mental health issues. I really enjoy it. I think it's fabulous, fascinating, and the sequel is really, really good to talk about the abandonment of a child. I think this is a fantastic duology and I highly recommend it to anybody who is not sure of science fiction but wants to dive in. The second duology I haven't mentioned in a minute and this is Alice. Alice and the Red Queen make up the Alice duology by Christina Henry. I love this duology. This is the UK edition. I own both UK and US editions. This follows Alice and Hatcher who meet in an insane asylum. Hatcher is there because he believes that there's a monster and Alice is there because she came back after being gone for a while and was speaking of a person called the rabbit. And this talks about old and new London. It's meshed up of all sorts of fantasies. It's really well done. It's really well executed. It has magic. It has dark elements. It has some sexual assault. So be aware it is trigger warnings. But I really, really enjoyed this and I thought it was really well executed. I also thought that the rapes in this were dealt with correctly and I thought that they were dealt with in a way that allowed the reader to see the aftermath of a sexual assault and what that looks like in a person's psyche. I really recommend these books. Then this one I haven't mentioned in a while either, and I really adore this. This is The Singular t Extraordinary Tale of Mirror and Goliath by Ishbel B. I love these books. This is from the duology in The Peculiar Adventures of John Loveheart. Part of me really hopes that there is a third one coming out. I just... I just really, really, really love really love these books. I think they're so fun and so easy to read. They're steampunk style. I do like steampunk. You'll see another one in a few minutes. Um, this follows a little girl who is locked in a clock 
and something happens to her and she is found by a man named Goliath who protects her and the two of them go on an adventure together and they come across an evil man and they have to fight for their selves and their sanity and their safety. It's really well done, really well executed. I love it and I think it's a really fun world to go into. And this one is just like Alice in that it is very large font so it is super easy to get through. The chapters are very short and it's just great fun. The next one is a trilogy. This is the Southern Reach trilogy. This is the first one, Annihilation. This follows a group of scientists that go into Area X and they are there to do scientific experiments and to explore and to understand the surroundings of Area X, but things go awry. There is never been a expedition that has gone in there and come out either alive or mentally sound and something always goes wrong. So this is the 12th expedition, I believe, and it is made up of four women, a anthropologist, a surveyor, a psychologist, and a defector leader. And it is really, really good, really, really suspenseful. I really enjoy it, and I think it's a lot of fun to read. I highly recommend this to anybody that's into conspiracy theories. Really, really good. Then, of course, I could not do anything without the parasol protectors. I love these books by Gail Carriger. I think... These are some of my favorite series. I have not read the YA series that goes along with it. Um, I have also not read... No, I did read The Prudence. I read the, the sequels that came and followed her daughter. I read some of them. I haven't finished all of them. I really want to continue with this world, but I loved the series that is the Parasol Protector so much that I'm afraid that it's going to follow it in a wrong way and it's not going to have the same feel and sass that this series did. I really love this because I definitely see the, male, the female character as a curvy, voluptuous, and well-balanced woman. I see her as very vivacious and raw and really talented and a very, very strong and bold female. I really enjoy her as a character. I think she is so much fun. I love the series and I love following her as she continues on her expeditions to try and save basically the world um, against werewolves and vampires. It's so much fun and so enjoyable. Love it. So yes, those are my top five series and duologies and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and comment down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!